So to start with, I open the manual, operating manual, to these two, this page here, because this covers a good portion of what we'll talk about. To start with, when you first turn your ductless unit on, push the salmon colored power button, you hear the beep. The first mode that comes up in the upper left hand corner is your auto changeover mode. This will automatically change between heating and cooling without you having to do anything. Because you have a multi-head system, both units upstairs and downstairs both have to be in the same mode at the same time. So if you press the mode button once, it goes to air conditioning, press it again, it goes to dehumidify, press it again, and then it goes to your heat mode. Again, on a multi-head system, both indoor head units have to be in the same mode at the same time. So you couldn't have one on the downstairs, one on heat, and then the upstairs one on air conditioning. Correct, correct. Because the way a, a heat pump works is if it's pushing warm air here, the outdoor unit is pushing cold air. And when you're pushing in cold air indoors, it's pushing warm air outside. And it can't differentiate between the two indoor heads to do that. Makes sense. So once it's in heat mode, you have your, your fan button. You can adjust. Right now the swirl symbol means the device will pick the fan speed the best suits the temperature you asked for adjacent to what the room is currently. You press the fan button once, goes to whisper quiet. With this mode here, the heat tends to stay closer to the indoor unit and isn't as projected out into the room as well as if you used a fan speed of two or three. We recommend in the winter months that you use a fan speed of two or three to really help drive the heat away from the unit and out into the room. Then your veins button, you have an automatic setting on the veins, which means the device will pick the fan, the position of the veins for you. That little swirl symbol goes to this, the veins button here. What that means is in heat mode, like it is right now, is pointing straight down because hot air rises. It wants to push that hot air down to the ground and have it rise to fill the room. Versus in cooling mode, it would point straight out because cool air is heavier and it wants to push the cool air across the top of the room and have it drop to change the temperature. If you adjust the veins. Oh, I see those flaps moved. You can adjust them down. So you can adjust this one to come a little further out into the room. You also have a smart set button in heat mode, this will allow the unit to drop to 50 degrees. This will supersede the remote going beyond the lowest remote setting of 61 degrees and drop it to 50 degrees. This is intended so you're, that your pipes don't freeze when you're gone on vacation or for a few days. We suggest that if you do use this mode, you turn the fan all the way up. That way, whatever heat is produced out of this unit is circulated as best it possibly can. And the okay. fan speed indicator is the right bars? Here. Yep, is these little tick marks right here. Okay, so right now it's on three bars. Yep, and you can go to four. Okay. You can go back to auto select, whisper quiet, fan speed one, fan speed two, and then you can go to a fan speed of three if you'd like. Gotcha. All right. In this pamphlet, here's your modes. There are four modes with the ductless unit. There's the auto mode, automatically changing from heating to cooling. Then you have cool mode for air conditioning for summer. You have dry mode for dehumidify to pull moisture out of the air. Then you have heat mode. So essentially we use two and four. Most people don't use auto changeover or the dehumidify mode here in the Pacific Northwest. And what were the buttons all the way to the right? That is the timer. Don't recommend using the timer. Whatever time you set this for, as soon as that time elapses, it expires and you have to reprogram it every single day. Because we don't recommend turning the units off at night, we just recommend turning them down to a, to a cooler temperature if that's what you would like. It is much more energy efficient to cool your house than it is to heat it. When you cool your house, you maybe go 15 degrees. When you heat your house, there's the potential you're going from 30 up to 80. When you let that core temperature of your house get too low, it takes a lot of energy to bring it back up. 
So how, how far should I turn it down at night? In the winter months, I wouldn't recommend anything more than a three degree differential. Okay. Um, as the temperature gets more mild and it warms up, you can obviously increase that. And is that gonna affect my heating bill, not turning it down very much at night? It will to some degree, but not, not a, an, an excessive amount. Okay. Okay. I, I do wanna note that on the indoor unit, you do have a left and a right adjustment, which are these little posts right here. Mm -hmm. So you can have a little bit of the heat go to the left or the right, and each side has its own that can be operated independently. Oh, so that affects how the angle of the air flow? Yes, from left to right. Okay. Okay, thank you. I do want to let you know that these units do have a defrost mode. Same technology as in a refrigerator. It was invented, I believe, in 1934, 1935. So as these units produce heat, it's producing cold air outside. And during those winter months, frost can actually develop on those outdoor coils. What will happen is the system knows it has thermistors and sensors all over it. And it will reverse this process, sending a little warm air out to the indoor unit to melt that frost. And in doing so, you'll feel a little cool air coming in. I mention it because sometimes it can be a little alarming if you're in the middle of winter, you have the unit set to 75 and you walk by and you feel cool air. Don't be alarmed, it lasts for about 10 minutes or so and it'll go right back to its normal function. Mm, 10 minutes, wow. But it won't cool my house down? No. Okay. What'll happen is the louvers will actually raise to an upper level here, pointing straight out so that it's not blowing down on, on somebody during that defrost. Oh, good. Okay. Thank you. You're very welcome.